Coming off the main melee win, we took a little bit of time to relax and, you know, take it easy. But, you know, next stage was upon us, you know, we had the June Jarvis coming up. And for that, we needed to focus on up. Uh, hero pools were a thing, you know, a few of the heroes we played with, like Tracer, Sombra, and obviously Reinhardt got banned. And, you know, it's so always different with hero pools. And this is our first time as a team running into that. So. It was a lot of adaptation, finding out what, the, what works for us. Again, I think that's something that we're always going to do. Hero pools are not. I think we're always going to find the thing that works for us, and it may not necessarily be the meta, but already we kind of had a, an idea of what we wanted to play, and that kind of showed straight off the bat when we played against London Spitfire. Uh, the Dallas Fuel, of course, reigning May Melee champions. No, we don't know what they're going to be playing right now, but again, um, their hero pool lines up really well with what we're seeing. Yeah, I, I think they will be able to come up with something that will be able to get them past the London Spitfire. Reaper going to go down, aren't we going to pick him up, and Sparkle goes for the blade. It's enough to get rid of Molt's mech. And it's going to be a rape walk away for Blase, who had Death Blossom and no chance to use it. Fast fights from the Dallas Fuel, getting really aggressive on the London Spitfire. Morphic already removed, and Shax is just not in a great position to succeed. The flashbang goes awry, and so do the Spitfire's plans. That's about as one-sided as you could ask for a series to be. I mean, that is Dallas Fuel taking what they did in the main melee and bringing it in here to the June Joust. After that match, you know, we ran into uh, the Shock, who are always going to be a, a tough team to play against. You know, they have that pedigree. How did Dallas hold on to this? This map, it's their lifeline. Yep. Violet went down. That could be the one thing they're looking for, but Fearless falls! And that is going to be the series. They played a good game. I think we played pretty poorly overall. Uh, really could have shored up some mistakes a lot better but that just motivated us to make sure we won the next two. And so they do, they know they only need one more fight to come back in, so they have to bide their time, and oh, the defense might just couldn't get there to keep BQP alive. Doha, here's the dead eye. Doha barrels forward, and again it's Doha who comes up with the goods. Kung Engine's gone down, and now it's gonna be a Dallas Fuel Party on the point to Florida Mayhem, so close, and that's all she wrote. Dallas can now disengage. Yeah, they knocked him back as well. I think Harbin just charged him with DM, and it's an absolute oh. massacre! The Vancouver Titans have nothing left to work with. And the Vancouver Titans, they know better than anyone that that just ain't good enough. Welcome back, one and all, another Battle of Texas. It seems that these two teams are just destined to fight over the Lone Star State for all eternity, or until we make them stop, but they need to chill. So a little bit of deja vu there, playing against the Houston Outlaws again. Um, obviously, uh, Battle for Texas is always an exciting one. Here with Coles, the Outlaws have to go through a very tiny oh doorway. Goodness. And the fuel, they're not letting Ooh. it enter at all. Doha oh. moves in on the cleanup, but it was the Coles setting the stage. Round two of can we get through the door starting the Houston Outlaws? No, oh. you can't! The door was rigged with a bomb. Hoffman explodes <laughs> them. Will he just stay alive and Sparkle will not be denied? Or we're winning it right now for sure. I think we come out with a tenacity and aggression that we always show in our matches and, and against Houston was no different. I think we just played our style and played it really well and I just don't think Houston were really ready for that. Again, keeps them alive, but barely. Dallas, oh, oh no! Oh no, Houston can't even get to the payload and that's the end of the series. But uh, the Dallas. next one, we ran into the Ellie Gladiators. Now, well, they look really good in the stage. And, uh, you know, we were obviously making sure we were ready for them. But again, we just played our style, and that's, you know, how we're always going to do it. Push their positioning around. Kepster doing oh, the exact same thing, but look at a remake kill. Moth goes down. He wasn't anticipating it right around the corner. The Dallas Fuel, too healthy, too strong. It's a Torbjorn ultimate there. The Molten Core comes through, but Muse already goes down. A Supercharger as well. This is way too much. They tried a lot of things, bringing out Torbjorn, bringing out lots of different strategies to try and counter us, but, you know, in the end, we pushed through it and, you know, came out on top. It's too much to overcome. The seismic slam into the uppercut. One more punch for good measure. Sparkle, this guy is indomitable. What a ridiculous performance from him all series long, and that is going to close it out. The Dallas Fuel are going to be winning the map and winning the series. GG's in the chat all around. You can see them celebrating because they realize that's right. Booked another ticket to Hawaii. Yeah, very excited for the guys. Again, it was, you know, surreal that we're going back just so soon after the last one. So so these guys, you know, were super focused and they wanted to make it back to back, right? I mean, that's why we're there. So before we actually started our matches and stuff, we did do a few fun things with uh, University of Hawaii Manoa. 
Um, there was a, a couple of like cultural uh, learnings for the players. And then there was some like June jousting, you know, going on with me involved. I don't know really how that all happened, but it was a fun one. I was a bit nervous going into it. Tasmo, anything you want to say? I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. Nothing else? No. Got it. <laughs> Go! <laughs> oh, no. This is so one zero Dallas. It's all about balance. You don't need to hit anybody that hard. I mean, these little like hammers weren't anything crazy. My experience of playing soccer pretty much all my life definitely helped my balance. So I kind of just let him fall. I remember the last one, I just kind of faked him out and then just kind of sat there and waited for him to just hit me hit, until he just fell over. <laughs> The only way he took me out was by landing on my board as well. So it was an easy win for that one. Uh, it was a lot of fun though. I enjoyed it. MTD. Where are you going to use this money on? <laughs> uh, we'll probably do a team dinner, some of like that. Team dinner, yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay, everybody, again, congratulations to Dallas Joel. Round of applause. I think anybody could have won that Jarrison competition, so it wouldn't be right for me to keep the check. So I put it towards the team and the players uh, so that way we can have more things like team dinners, stuff like that. So good times. Well, let's have a look at the Dallas Fuel app. Let's reacquaint ourselves with our May Melee champions on their second trip to Hawaii, no less. This is a squad to be reckoned with now. Feel so the first day of our matches was against the Shanghai Dragons. And, uh, you know, it was a rematch of last uh, tournament's finals. It's kind of a pretty interesting rivalry so far, but we kind of just kind of rolled them on that door round. It's a big pile driver, but Flutter was not ready for Doha there. Perfect stuff. I said he had to be more creative, Matt, with how he sets up. And that was exactly what he did. Gotta be void to dip his toes in, Matt. This is the Dallas Fuel looking mighty fine on Vusa. Yeah, literally, figuratively, trying to deal with most of the fuel. And oh dear, Sparkle, he's causing so many problems now. This is what happens, Matt. <laughs> but when the wolf gets into the panic of the sheep, time though, it has to stick, it has to work. No, it only gets onto fate. That's all that could be managed there with him being knocked off course. And the rest of the dragons couldn't get there. And the Dallas Fuel make it two. Zero. Uh, we, we just haven't seen it thus far. Is that uh, fake gets dangerously low and taken out? Sparkle getting the make of his own here. Uh, there it is. Uh, Doha just. <laughs> yeah, that's hard to deal with. Yes, Harmon self destructs. He should be able to climb back in the mech now, and the bomb doesn't take anyone down for the dragons, but it's fine. Sparkle returns to the fray and Fielder beams them all down. Sparkle can play away. Fate walked off the cart just to get the Doomfist. He only saw red. The Dallas Fuel. Take the series three to zero. We you know, kind of stuck to our game plan. We we anticipated some things they were going to pull out. They didn't. They played some different kind of strategies. Again, we played our game, and I don't think they're really ready for it. It was pretty comfortable overall. I think that's something you got to expect from our team. I think you know we have the caliber to show up against any team, no matter who's on the other side of things, and that just shows how strong we can be. We're going to focus on the match at hand because it's the two Western teams here in this tournament and they're going to be determining who is the best here in this match here in the upper bracket. So going into the second day, we were up against the Atlanta Reign. Now, a lot of people were saying that these guys were the favorites. Uh, you know, obviously a lot of people had us winning, uh, some with Shanghai, and they looked really strong. You know, we were really focused and knew that this was a very big one to win. You know, obviously we want to be in that winner's bracket final. He's still holding on, now he's going to use the Jupiter Gun. Ops to use it now onto the Winston, trying to build up the Primal, will get it off. Now he's going to be trying to separate the backline. Iris using that fade just to get away, but he's faded right into danger. As Doha will offload that Death Blossom. He's looking like the Atlanta Rain, holding strong here and taking away map number one. What an insane performance from the rain. Holy. Doing it in the mirror when no one else believed. They felt like they needed to try and mirror us as well, which kind of caught us off guard, I think. But at the end of the day, you know, they looked good at it, but we just looked better. Dallas have everything well, they need to do to win. Oh, he's going for it. He's trying to chase him down. Oh my goodness. Right down into the drink almost. But surely this is doable for Atlanta. They barely have anybody alive. And the blade You're comes kidding. out from Sparkle. So close. Kai goes down before it's even online. And now finally, the trigger is pulled. How are you going to be offsetting this? Well, you're not. The Atlanta Rain pushed off the point health advantage, but look at that bomb. It's so good from the handbin. Just pushing them all backwards, and that is going to be the Death Blossom on top of it. Doha, an absolute monster. Not able to get value out of it. Still the coalescence of the Atlanta Rain, keeping them alive, and Doha goes down. That's out the strength. Handbin, are you kidding me? Laid it on top. They had so much trust in Gator's bubble to stop the damage coming through, but it's not enough. But it's committed to Fade forced out here. Fearless completely removing Iris from this fight. They're not going to have any healing, and that is going to be it. The Dallas Fuel 
What an engagement. Sensing blood in the water. I don't know what the go button was for them, but that is going to secure them the map, and that is going to secure them the series three to one. They're going to be moving forwards into that grand finals here for the June Joust. So back-to-back -back finals, you know, that's something not many teams have done and it's not something we've ever done in, in our franchise history. And it's very impressive for these guys and, and the team is very focused and, you know, obviously we're looking into it pretty confident, but you can never rule these guys out. Like I said, Shanghai have a very talented roster. You know, we weren't taking them lightly or anything like that, but we were confident, of course, but I think we'd be confident no matter what team we play. So, you know, going into that match, you know, it meant a lot to try and win it both times in a while, that's really impressive. But not only that, it's, you know, getting that extra league point is, is really important. Fuel and the falls in the middle of this fight, so it does spell doom for the Dallas Fuel, but they've invested Primal Rage and Duplicate in here. This bomb from Spark would have some goals, and he does it with a remake as well. The remake and the self-destruct, are you kidding me? And that one, Fearless as well with the Primal Rage. He stops the chick on in the middle of the beat. Two. That is ridiculous, sent Void flying off the edge as well. The environmental kills the beat down. We clean this one up for a very easy 2-0 victory. Holy on moly. To begin with. A little bit of help to work with here, but Shanghai's still looking to try and fight this one. Death Blossom comes through. Doho looking to catch it, two players. Holy moly. That is ridiculous. The Shanghai Dragons, they need to touch the point, and Void will eventually do it, realizing the importance of it. So that's the overtime going to be triggered now. But it has to boost away, and... It gives Dallas Fuel ample opportunities to pick off anybody who was left who was standing by themselves, and that is going to be map two in the bag for them. We started off really hot, right? We we go up 2-0 in the series, uh, looking really strong. Kind of looked like like last time, right? Last time we played them. They've been playing the style the whole time with the Wrecking Ball. It's a little bit different. Uh, definitely strong against our comp for sure. But it wasn't working for them for a long time, and then it finally started to click. DJ Yon might be next as well as he's just trying to zip and zoop around that bus, just trying to avoid a lot of that damage. Looking like it could be successful now for the Shanghai Dragons. The mines are also going to be preventing the Dallas Roll from even trying to get this overtime going. There will be only Sparkle with left standing. The Dragons, they're finally going to be bringing it here to the Dallas Fuel and they are going to be taking away Numbani in the process. Not going down without a fight, getting a map on the board. You know, it was looking a little scary, you know, they got that win pretty strong on a, on the man against us. Then we got into Rialto. Now, Rialto, again, is a map where we were like, all right, this isn't ideal for us, but it was a really tough matchup. They're like, not going to be denied this capture still. Hammond certainly going to try with the oh! self-destruction that comes through. What in the Lord's name was that? It is a hard fight to win, but with Fearless going down, it's made just that bit easier. The mines as well will stop them from contesting. And as they move away to Remnants, they're going to be stopping Dallas Fuel before they really start to get some speed. And so that this team can come back in, but it might be too late here, Josh. It certainly looks like it. The overtime wick is burning, and Dallas, they're in firm control. Stamps the Dallas Fuel's third map win onto the board. Thought process here from Shanghai. They think, okay, we'll go in with the mines, but Dallas, they push right past it. Lee Jae gone. He's taken out. Desperately bleed players back in over and over. But it's Dallas. It's Dallas all the way. It always has been. And they take their first step in what could potentially be the final map of the series. Brent, this is Shanghai Dragons round. It bears mentioning, Brent, how amazing it is that the Shanghai Dragons have been able to learn this composition in such a tiny amount of time and pose a serious threat here to the Dallas Fuel. Really, they use the beat just to keep Dolphins through. Yeah, and the beat is going to be keeping them alive. Poop away again, self-destruct up the top. It catches up to Lee Jae Gon. 85% in counting. You cannot tell me the Dragons are out like this. Fledado has to assume the form of the Diva just to stay alive. Almost getting d in the process. Limp TP into the back line, but shut down in the process. Process. The Dragons might just be ending this one here. And control is in their hands. The overtime goes, and they're just going to be dumping bodies onto the point to keep it going. Fearless, though, cannot withstand that kind of pressure. And the Dragons are going to be taking Busan. It was a really close matchup, and um, that one specifically, for me, really hurt because that Busan one, I think we could have won. Like, really, really could have won. Like, we had so many mistakes and, and errors. And aside from that, though, like, you know, the guys played well. Like, our guys played well, they just played better, I think, at the end of the day. And they, and they continued to move that momentum to map, to map, to map. And the strategy was working really well against us. And then it took us to the game seven. I mean, for viewers' sake, they loved it. You know, it was, it was great to watch, I'm sure. Uh, 
but oh man, it was stressful for us. Lip getting into the high position. ground. Now he has a Death Blossom boot around the way. That Death Blossom is going to be getting all the work done. Jets are falling. It is chaos. It is pandemonium. But they are persevering somehow. Lip trying to put an end to it. Three kills for Lip. Are you kidding me? Forcing the fade away as well. Lee Jae Yong coming back in now with the sound barrier. Just needs to clear off this point. The mines from Fearless. It's desperation now for Dallas to try and do it. But the Shanghai Dragons are holding strong now. Only a couple of players left standing and it's not enough. The Shanghai Dragons have done it. An absurd series of events. They've come back and look at the sheer... Losing in that fast and always hurts, you know. You could see the coaches, you know, and the players. Yes, they were definitely disappointed. And, you know, it was a really heartbreaking loss. To lose 4-3 in that sort of fashion in the Grand Finals is never fun. But, you know, again, this is only one piece of the season and we wanted to move forward from that. We were disappointed and upset about it, of course. You know, we're, we're wanting to win that. But these guys, you know, the way they reacted was, was great, in my opinion. You know, they, they knew that they lost. They knew they made mistakes. They knew that they were not the better team on this day, but they took that and immediately just realized you got to learn from the mistakes, learn from the hardships, learn from the losses and make yourself even stronger. And we already are, right? We, we took the time off after, after losing that and, you know, just kind of reflected on it. It was like, all right, well, you know, they, they, they beat us fair and square. They, they played a good strategy, but now we got to focus on next. So making Hawaii again was definitely still special. I mean, back to back going to Hawaii appearances isn't something that many teams can say. But like, you know, we're ready to go again. And you know, I was talking to Fearless and he was like, oh, we go Hawaii again, no worries, easy. And you know, and I trust these guys because like, you know, they work really, really hard. And you know, they're dedicated and they're super passionate about winning and, and wanting to win. We know what we need to do, but for now, let's take a break. Let's relax, let's spend some time in Hawaii. Let's, you know, just take some time to refresh, recharge. And that's what we're doing right now and we're, about to get back into it for the summer showdown. So yeah, going into summer showdown should be really exciting. Really looking forward to see what uh, what the new meta is, what our meta is, what we want to do. And uh, hope you fans are excited for another uh, great month. Burn blue.